Hi, and thanks for joining me again today for our Devotion Times, the 21st of June 2018. Today we're talking about dreaming big things. We're in 2 Kings chapter 1 and 2 together, so we're entering the book of 2 Kings today. Now, I've always been dreaming, or as I like to phrase it, maybe it's a planner. See, I like to dream of ways which God can move, projects that could be started, lives that could be transformed. And I've often been told, both self-consciously by myself as well as by others, that some of these dreams and plans seem pretty much impossible. Yet, as I began to see them unfold, I've been struck by the littleness often of my dreams. And I'm reminded that those things that seem massive to me and almost impossible are actually quite easy for God. As I see the ease in which the dreams which God lays on my heart come to pass, I am often in awe of how small our dreams, my personal dreams, have been in comparison to the greatness of God. We know we must learn to dream bigger because God is bigger than our dreams. In other words, there is no dream, no desire, no prayer, no goal that is bigger than the awesomeness of our God. Think of these two verses, for example, Psalm 103, verse 11. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Why Isaiah 64 verse 4, For since the world began, no year as year, no eye has seen a God like you, who works for those who wait for him. Elisha was a dreamer. He followed Elijah everywhere. Why? He had a dream of being like his mentor. Even when Elijah tries to turn Elisha away, he stays put. He had a dream, and he wasn't going to go anywhere. Today it may be that God's calling you to do something bigger than you can imagine yourself being able to do. An impossible dream. You've been thinking for the last few weeks, months or years about what God wants you to do. For some of you, it may be something bigger than you want to deal with. But big things almost always intimidate us. Often big things produce fear, even a paralyzing effect in our lives. But we can learn from Elisha that God will empower us for that thing which he calls us to do. And God will fill us with his spirit and give us a double portion than what we had before that we'll be able to carry out the ministry he lays before us. So there I just want us to think about how are our self-beliefs limiting God? How are dreams God placed on our hearts? But well, let's pray. Oh, Father, I just thank you so much again today that you plan, you place plans in our hearts, dreams for our future. And Father, help us to follow your plans and your purposes for us, realizing that they are bigger than what we can think of ourselves. Father, we thank you that you are an awesome God, all-powerful, and nothing is too hard for you. So help us not to rely on our own strength, but to trust in you, for you are more than able. Help us to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.